Welcome back everyone. In this video we're gonna cover functionalities for our button. So add to cart, we're gonna create slice and we're gonna add functionalities for items to be added to the cart. So let's get started and let's go to our Visual Studio Code and let's create new file called cart slice jsx and here we're gonna go to the product just copy this create slice import it then let's export const cart slice gonna create slice and inside we can name it cart and initial state okay here in initial state we're gonna have a cart list that's gonna be empty we're gonna have amount that's gonna be zero total amount like all items total amount we're gonna be zero as well and total price at the default it's gonna be zero as well let's create reducers for our actions and inside we're gonna have function add to cart gonna get state and the action nice and now we need to export that action add to cart create slice dot it's not create slice it's cart slice dot actions and let's export default cart slice dot reducer now let's go to our store let's create cart and here we gonna import port cart reducer from features sliceless cart slice let's add cart reducer over here okay now when we added everything let's start adding logic here so we're gonna have something like product id product id and that's gonna be our action dot payload we're gonna be using that product id for our action dot payload then let's add try catch error turn error and here we gonna create if that product exists then we gonna just increase it otherwise we gonna push something else to cart and let's add variable ist and now we gonna add state dot cart dot find we gonna loop through our cart if it's there we gonna uh, find like that product and if that product is there product dot id if it's equal our product id that our action payload if it's if the product id is equal that product that we are adding so action dot payload is gonna be our button if we are adding that the same product with id then we're gonna check also for the size product dot size if it's equal product and we need to go with the id id dot size and at the end product dot color if it's equal product id dot color okay so if there is an item like that we gonna put our amount so it's state i mean exist dot amount gonna be it's going to be higher we're gonna increase it by one and exist dot total price it's gonna be plus equals product id dot price and we can also change the state dot total amount 
go higher and state that's globally total price is gonna be product dot price we're gonna increase for the all the product support if there is existing product and also if there is no existing product and we're gonna add logic for that over here in the else block so state dot cart if there is not that product we're gonna push it and we're gonna push a new object with id product dot id then price product dot price size product dot size amount gonna be only one then total price gonna be product id dot price and name we can add product id dot name and what else color gonna be product id dot color okay and we need to put it like that and at the end now we need to change that total amount going plus higher and total price gonna be plus equals product id dot price and this is logic for our item let's see if it's working so let's go to the single product and let's import that action import add to cart from our feature slices let's go to the feature to slices to our cart slice and let's import use this batch from react redux let's create const patch is equals use this patch and what we can do now we can go down there to our to our button and we can provide on click so on click this patch add to cart and now we need to add that object id it's going to be item.id because here is our item that we are looping let's go back then we can have the price item dot price amount gonna be only one we said so amount gonna be one what else we got we got uh, total price item dot price name let's add name here item dot name and what is left it's size size is gonna be our size that we created and color is gonna be color that we created so let let's check that out we will check it here but we in, in, the, in the in the other video we're gonna create component called cart and we're gonna display that there but just for checking if everything is okay let's import use selector here from react redux react redux and now let's create some variables const cart use selector tor it's gonna be state and we're gonna return state dot cart dot cart cart and cart okay and let's create two more it's gonna be total amount total amount and here we will add total price and here let's add total price and let's console.log cart cart then let's console two more it's gonna be total amount and let's add total amount and at the end total price total 
price and let's check if everything is okay and we go to inspect we refresh it cart is zero now when we add this item cart is amount one size s color is where is our color coral is purple then price of a single item is 355 and the total price is 355 because it's only one item let's add one more as you can see total amount two now total price 710 let's check our cart there is only one oh this is okay it's over here there is our cart amount is two color and size are the same total price is now 710 let's add with a new size total amount three total price is increasing and in the cart there are two items three items two with the same size and color and another item with a different size uh, but same color let's go maybe change a color to the gray as you can see also we are adding that new item with a color of a gray size total price is increasing and total amount is increasing let's add another item let's go to the jeans and let's add this casual jeans total price is increasing amount of course and we added casual jeans everything is working this is it for this video and see you everyone next time where we're gonna be building cart and we're gonna be displaying these items in our cart so i'm gonna remove this from here this was only for our practice and to check if everything is okay with our cart slice okay see ya everyone next time bye